Overhead Press, Wikipedia Article Audio The press, overhead press, or shoulder press is a weight training exercise, typically performed while standing, in which a weight is pressed straight upwards from racking position until the arms are locked out overhead. Movement Equipment Variations Biomechanics Bibliography The overhead press is set up by taking a barbell or other weight and putting it in racking position. This can be done by taking the weight from a rack or by cleaning the weight from the floor. The weight is then pressed to overhead until the elbows are fully locked out. As the weight clears the head, the lifter leans forward slightly, or comes directly under, in order to keep balance. As the weight is lowered back to racking position and clears the head again, the lifter leans slightly back. The overhead press is a highly effective compound upper body exercise. Performing it standing recruits many more muscle groups in order to maintain balance and support the lift, rather than performing it seated. Like the squat and deadlift, it can be thought of as a whole body exercise, to some extent. The overhead press can be performed with any type of weight slash equipment, but is commonly performed with. Out of those, the dumbbell and kettlebell provide unilateral qualities, and out of those the kettlebell provides the most variety due to the grip attributes of the kettlebell. Over 50 plus press variations can be created through changing of. Other variations of the overhead press are. The deltoid muscle has a dynamic activation of about 9120 degrees of abduction. Afterwards it has an almost static function during the remainder of the lift. The rest of the movement is mainly due to contraction of trapezius muscle pars ascendens, serratus anterior muscle and trapezius pars descendens. They work together to tilt the scapula to a position that makes the glenoid cavity point superiorly, enabling the last degrees of abduction of the shoulder. Other contributing muscles include the supraspinatus muscle and biceps brachii muscle caput longum. The rotator cuff is also active to pull the caput humeri into the glenoid cavity and counteract the superior forces of caput humeri created by the deltoid. The triceps contribute to the extension of the elbow, and counteract the force from biceps caput longum. Barbell, dumbbell, Kettlebell Grip, angle, stance, etc. Arnold Press, beginning a dumbbell press with forearms supinated, ending with forearms pronated. Named after Arnold Schwarzenegger. The Arnold Press in essence greatly increases the Scott Press's range of motion by starting in a position close to the dumbbell curl's finishing position instead of the Scott Press's starting position of elbows pulled back and at or above the shoulder, behind the neck press, barbell on the trapezius versus on the anterior deltoids, Bradford Press, as you press. Once the bar clears a few inches overhead it is slowly lowered behind the head then explosively reversed to the front and slowly lowered to the starting position. The two phases are commonly considered one repetition. Named after Jim Bradford, dumbbell press, using dumbbells, military press, heels together with strict form with no pre-movement momentum. It is called the military press because this movement used to be the general indicator or test of one's strength in the military. The military press targets the deltoid muscles in the shoulders as well as the triceps. Additionally, it works the core and legs, which the lifter uses to help stabilize the weight. Olympic press, lift used in Olympic weightlifting, consists of a clean, then pressing with no lower body movement, such as in the push press. 
discontinued after 1972 Olympics due to inconsistent judging criteria, one-handed press, pressing with one arm at a time, push press, using leg drive to press the weight up, seated press, pressing while seated, SOTS press, pressing to overhead from a deep squat position. Created by Victor SOTS.